y'all it's me TikTok, and welcome back to my channel welcome back to my channel welcome back to my channel make sure you like comment and subscribe on the video because why wouldn't you hey besties as you can see we're gonna have a quick meal tonight i just left the walmart and i know you just saw it in the video and this is what i'm about to make it looks pretty simple it is a Tyson chicken sandwich burger and Orita mini tots along with this new lettuce that I am trying right here. So let's get right into the video. All right, besties, we're going to go ahead and put the tater tots in so that we can get these going because the chicken breast patties don't take long at all once we get the fry daddy going. So yeah, let me go ahead and see can I open this bag. And we're just gonna pour them all on this pan right here. I had to think of something really easy. Earlier I had a half of a, well not even a half of a slice, I had a quarter of a slice of pizza, Alpha Cora's pizza, and I had a half of a hot dog over at Sam's. As you all know, those hot dogs and combos are like a, under $2. So yeah, we split those today. And now I am here making these Tyson chicken sandwiches. So yeah, I've already turned the oven on preheat. So maneuvering around in here in this wheelchair isn't the greatest because between the island, between the, my phone is dying. Between the island and the stove, it is a little tight. But let's go ahead and put those tater tots right on in. Here we go. And this shouldn't take long at all. This quick meal here, I guarantee you, takes less than 30 minutes. So when you think of a quick meal, you think of something that you don't have to really stand over the stove for too long, but you still get like that restaurant feel because it's like eating um, a chicken sandwich from let's just say McDonald's, Burger King, or Chick-fil-A somewhere. And then you also get the french fries without having to fry them so that is what we're having tonight and yeah okay besties the grease is heating up and we're going to be using the fry daddy today and i'm going to show y'all just how we're going to do that and i'm also going to pop the buns into the oven when it is time to get to that part and yeah this is one of the quickest meals that you are going to find. This is the fry daddy that we are going to be using as soon as the grease heats up. We are getting ready to, well, Trey's gonna wash the lettuce for me. I've been doing a lot today and I just really don't even feel like getting up. Any other time I will probably just go ahead and get up and wash some. So just wash like a one for uh, about you know, just make enough, a plate full, not too, too much. While he is doing that, I am going to get the foil pieces because what I'm gonna do instead of using a pan is I am going to put the burger buns in the oven on a pan, I mean on the foil because Trey was looking for a pan, but I didn't want that one. So he was past the foil and I was like, great idea. So here we are. And I have these glasses on because I keep looking at my phone every couple of minutes, um, doing things like I was uploading your video, your Walmart video, and it is finally posted. So again, you will see that Walmart video before this one. And um, just to let y'all know, these are the brioche buns Cora turned me on to. And when I say they are top tier, do y'all like these buns better than regular? Yeah. Yep. Because you know why? These are really, really, really good. Like, I want to say gourmet. They're French buns. So, yeah. I'm about to go ahead and get ready to put the chicken in. Okay, besties. We have the lettuce all done. So, let's sit this over here. And let's get ready to pop these chicken patties in. All right, here we go. We are going to put in one, two, let's 
three and four. I'm gonna drop those in the grease. Here we go. And there they are. That simple, let me let y'all see them. And there we have it, besties. I love utilizing this fry daddy. It's just like cooking at the restaurant. Okay, so the chicken sandwiches should not take long at all. Let me show you all the condiments that we're gonna use. Um, I'm not sure we're gonna use the mustard. Anyone using mustard? No, Damarion just got it out. But we have the mustard, the ketchup, we have some mayo, which is really, really, really empty, but there's enough for me to scrape out. And then we are also utilizing the Chick-fil-A sauce. So yeah, Damarion's gonna have the Chick-fil-A sauce. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get the buns popped in because like I said, it doesn't take but two seconds. I wish they would really put eight hamburger buns in here, but they only put six. But if I buy two packs, it won't get eaten. So yeah. There we go. Let me check these. A little bit more. Just a little bit more on those. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these bad boys in the oven. I'm gonna put them right on top. I'm gonna leave them together. And there we have our tots and our buns. And this should be a few more minutes and it'll be time to eat. Okay, and those chicken patties are chicken patty. So all you have to do is lift them, sit them right here on the side, and that's how you get them out the grease. Let me show you. Just like that. And it sits up on the side so that way it is out of the grease. I'm gonna show you what I am going to do so that I can get the next set out. I'm gonna grab a plate. I'm gonna put paper towel over it so that we can drain the grease from the chicken patties. Even though most of the grease is already draining as the um, basket sits up top. Okay, so we're just gonna put paper towel on a plate. Oh, I forgot that first step. We're gonna put foil under the paper towel. Let's put the foil under and this on top. There we have it. I gotta buy myself some tongs next time I'm at the store and I think another spatula, something like that. There's a few things that I'm missing, so yeah. And if you're disabled like I am, you can definitely just sit right in your kitchen and do all of this just like I just did. So and I'm gonna go ahead and put the other patties in while we're waiting on the buns. And just like that, those are completely done. We are gonna let them cool. This is what they are looking like, besties. We go ahead and cover these up because we are waiting on the buns and the table tops and then I will fix their plates. And I can just put this right back on top of the stove, just like that. Okay, we are going to pop some more in to the Fry Daddy. One, two, three, and four. May as well make number five. No sense in holding on to it. There we go. And back in the grease we go. And this bag, so this bag had four, eight, nine patties in it. They should have just thrown one more in to make it an even 10, but they didn't. They made nine. I never counted how many came in this. So, yeah. Now we are, I'm about to check the tater tots 
and the buns because we don't want either to get too hard. The buns are just supposed to be in there for a light crisp and they are done. Ooh, I dropped the bun, I dropped two. Come help me, Trey. All right, besties, I'm getting the plates ready because it is literally time to rock and roll. In other words, time to make those plates. This is how the buns came out. They are crispy and yeah. So let me go ahead and start making their plates. So Mariana is going to have both of his. Trey is going to have one. Okay, this is mine. Let me just boil that back up for right now. There we have it. Let me scoot you guys back some. There, because it seems like y'all were way too close. Now, what you are about to see me do is scrape the life out of here to get some mayo on Trey's sandwich. I don't eat mayo, by the way. I don't like looking at it. I don't like touching it. Okay, so we got some on the top bun. Joe, what about sandwich for it? No? All right. I might be able to squeeze you a little bit now. Okay, so there we have it. We got mayo on trays. I've seen people doing this before, squeezing like the mayo out. But like I said, I don't eat mayo, so I never really had to do this. Okay, let's squeeze the Marianne a little mayo out. Okay, we're getting somewhere. You would be surprised how much is at the bottom of a, of a jar. And I'd be throwing stuff away. I see why Harry be keeping everything. <laughs> I see why Harry be literally keeping all of the stuff. Not much, but it's some. It's on my hands. Normally, I would have a fit. Because, like I said, I don't eat mayo. And so, yeah. Get a paper towel. There we go. Okay, we got that. Let's get the Marion some Chick fil A. We are out of everything, besties. I got enough though. Spread it out on both buns. Alright. Now let's get the bun on. I mean the chicken on, and then I'll grab the tops out. And they will be good to go. Mm -hmm. There we go. And I'll close mine back up. Because it'll be soon. Let me check the other ones. Almost, I'm gonna do it a little bit, little bit, tiny bit longer. Okay, let's get the lettuce on to these sandwiches. There we go. One. Let's get some lettuce on these. Comment down below if y'all like a lot of lettuce or just like a little. I'm a little lettuce. All right. Now let's grab those tater tots out if we're not going to be afraid of them. Okay, we have the tater tots ready. So somebody come turn the oven. Trey, come turn the oven on. Trey, come turn the oven on. 
tray come turn so i don't know if the mariana will do that i'm gonna put the tater tots on their plates now so that they can get ready to eat and yeah you can stay here because yours about to be ready in a minute well i still gotta take a picture Trey, tell me if you want more tops than this. Come look at this plate. You want more? That's fine. You sure? Okay. All right, Bessie. So this is the end of the video and the part where everyone gets to grab their plates, put ketchup if they like, and let me double plate this because the plate is flopping. But anyway, let me let y'all get a very good look at these sandwiches and tops and then that will conclude our video. I double plate too. Can you tear the paper towels off? All right, and this is the end of how everything turned out. Homemade chicken sandwiches and tater tots.